photos that have a wide angle, like Sam shared with you. Almost I placing the subject in the middle. For those who don't know how to use the wide angle, they will put the subject on the edge. Thus, the subject is distorted. I put the subject in the middle and I shot at a very low ISO. So my photo is completely noise free. And my photos now are mostly very high quality. So don't be afraid to recompose the photo. First, Sam will recompose the photo. I'll drag the picture to the center. As high as possible. After that, I will stretch the legs to make the subject longer. Then these leg pulling parts, Sam has guided a lot for you already. So I won't repeat each step over and over again. Then I have finished the composition of the main part of the photo. Now I will composition one third. Then in this one third layout you have two options. One is you leave one third right here. To choose this one third layout, you must click on C, crop. Then I chose this part. Choose rule of thirds. Then it will appear. Then I will move the subject over here, I will drag the long photo this way. Option 2 is that I will drag over here and drag the long photo over this direction. In the previous situation, I adjusted the photo to lengthen this way. In this situation, I will guide you through this direction. We should change many composition. Make it more novel. This is one third. Okay. So Sam will drag this photo, it's long over this direction. Okay. I will delete this backpack now. Shift detail. Now after I have finished processing. Now I will deal with the light part of the photo. So this photo is always me taking a bit dark. Normal photos they wouldn't take so dark. However, the reason why Sam shoots dark is because Sam wants to keep the details of these lights. These are very nice details of the photo. And if you take a photo, these details will be burned. Always keep in mind that the brightest part of the photo is what you have to keep. These are techniques that only the best photographers have. As we are about fine art lighting, we can do this. How to set up the lights, I has already instructed you in the previous part, I will not say it again here. I will add 0 0.3 stops. 2. 3. I add until I feel the image is bright enough. Okay. After that, the picture is bright enough. Then I will group it. Now I will scan in. This part is burning. Well, I doesn't want it to burn. So Sam will restore it. By scanning in. My purpose of shooting this dark is to keep this detail, so I won't let it lose detail here. And now I have balanced the left light to the right. Before. I see that the left side is very dark, the right side is bright enough. And now both sides are equal. Well, after I have adjusted the light, here it is. So now I'm going to have glowing skin. I lighten my skin by choosing skin. White skin 3. Sweep onto skin. The face is not bright enough, then I continue to sweep on the skin. I continue to scan the skin. Now, after three steps when I sweep it on my skin, I see that my face is already full and bright. Okay. This photo is quite far away, so you don't have to do the skin either. I will squeeze liquify, choose liquify. Squeeze the subject's abdomen. In this photo, the bride is leaning forward. So the belly will be big. I have to squeeze again, but this bride really doesn't have a big belly. Due to her posing. So I have to be careful, I reprocess it when I'm in post-production. These people, let nature, I kept. If you like it, you can delete it. But what I saw was that in this situation, I was shooting on the street. Usually I won't delete these people, but Sam will blur them out. By the way, I will choose motion blur. I scanned these people. Then they will fade.
select 100%. This part won't scan in, it will be red, so in this part Sam does not scan. Sam scans only the parts that don't affect the color. Then I'll lower the opacity, so they're a bit blurry. Then OK. And now I have finished dealing with the skin subject. I put it all together, I will see from one step, before, and now I have very beautiful, bright, and plump skin. I group all layers. In the second step, I will adjust the color. Then I create a new layer and now this red is not beautiful, Sam will add red. Plus red. Here, red is more dramatic. Now, to give this photo more detail, Sam will add contrast. Stand out, stand out. Then I will see before, after. The picture has more emphasis. It is clearer. Regarding coloring, you have two ways. One is that I will use a bright color like this. I just reduced the orange color slightly. For example, Sam subtracts a little orange or yellow. Then you see that this is a slight reduction in the scene. Option 2 is now Sam will color with this fine art preset. And I will choose a color that is indoor. Then its color will change to pale. And I increase and decrease the opacity. Then Sam will choose the first way. That's how I reduce the yellow color. Remove yellow. I can increase the orange color or reduce the orange color. By the way I will subtract white balance. Then to make the image sharper, you can choose to add detail. Here, the picture is clearer, it's sharper, plus detail. I can block the image by choosing brush and I choose to add contrast. With the addition of contrast, I have made blocks for this photo, this chiffon. And I can play in other parts too. The color and light and dark part, I have finished adjusting. Before, after. 